Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here? And what we have here, we can multiply this directly x times x times x, that's the same thing as x cubed minus x times x, that's also x squared, then equals to 100 from here. The next step here, we take 100 to the left hand side, and we have x cubed minus x squared then minus 100 then equals to 0 from here then here we can express 100 as 125 minus 25 that is here what we have becomes x cubed minus x squared then minus into brackets 125 minus 25 close bracket equals to 0 here then yeah this becomes x cube minus x square then mi minus open this bracket we have minus 125 plus 25 equals to 0 here then also here 125 can be written as 5 times 5 times 5, that's 5 cube. And also 25 can be written as 5 times 5, that's 5 squared. And what we have here becomes x cube minus x squared, then minus 5 cube plus 5 squared equals to 0 here. And next step. Let's bring the power of 3 together. That is, we have x cubed minus 5 cubed. And also the power of 2 together, we have minus x squared plus 5 squared. Then equals to 0 here. And we can write this as x cubed minus 5 cubed into brackets. The minus common here, we have into bracket x squared minus 5 squared left those brackets equals to zero here then this bracket follows when we have a cube minus b cube which can be written as a minus b into brackets open bracket a square plus a b plus b square and also the second bracket a follows when we have a square minus b square the same thing as a minus b into bracket open bracket a plus b as this here yeah, all we have becomes x minus 5 into bracket open bracket x square plus 5x plus 5 square plus brackets then minus also the second bracket here becomes x minus 5 into bracket open bracket x plus 5 plus bracket then equals to 0 here then next step here we have x minus 5 common we factor it out and we have x minus 5 into brackets the open bracket here we have x square plus 5x plus 5 squared that's 25 and here we are left with minus into bracket x plus 5 close bracket then closes bracket equals to 0 here then next step here minus open this bracket and we have x minus 5 into brackets open bracket x squared plus 5x plus 25 then this become minus x minus 5 plus bracket equals to 0 here then next step here we bring this together as simplify and we have x minus 5 into brackets then open brackets here we have x square 5x minus x that's plus 4x then 25 minus 5 we have plus 20 Close brackets then equals to zero here. 
Then here we have two possible cases. The first one, x minus 5 equals to 0. Or we have x squared plus 4x plus 20 equals to 0 here. That is, here we have x equals to 5, which is a real solution here. Then here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to 4, and c equals to 20. Then applying the quadratic formula, now we have x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. At this here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 20 over 2 times 1. Then here this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square that's 16 then minus 4 times 1 times 20 that's 80 then over 2 here. At this year, we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 80. We have minus 64 over 2 here. That is, next step here, this same thing as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 times minus 1 over 2. Then, this follows when we have root a times b. This can be written as root a times root b. At this here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 times root minus 1 over 2. Then here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 that's 8 and root minus 1 is i over 2. Then we can separate this and we have x equals to minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 8i over 2. Then this becomes x equals to minus 4 over 2, that's minus 2, and plus or minus 8i over 2, that's 4i. Which implies we have two complex solutions here. Therefore, all together in this problem we have three solutions. One is solution and two complex solutions. That is, when we write it out, we have x1 equals to 5, x2 equals to minus 2 plus 4 high, and x3 equals to minus 2 minus 4 high. That is, one is solution and two complex solutions. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell. Share this video with thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.